Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 24 for multi vendor e commerce website in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to create the user dashboard design. Okay, in our previous video, we have created the customer register and login page. Now we will create the customer dashboard. So, I will show you that what elements we will put in the customer dashboard. So, later we will implement the functionality with the API, right. So let's try to implement that. So front end source, I will first of all open the header dot header dot js file, right? So header dot js file I will open. All right. So now <coughs> here we have a dashboard. So I'll create a link dashboard here. Sorry, dashboard and to log out, let's put login okay so this will be customer dashboard right and now we will create customer let's copy the this one and let's put dashboard.js okay open this file okay this will be similar for you if you have practiced enough then it will be similar for you but if not then this will be new thing to you okay so we i'm creating this project so i will explain this every time and i will exp i will try to explain so you can understand okay so this is a okay so let's put this in our app.js here and let's fetch this all right and then we have a dashboard let's put the dashboard here and put the dashboard link right so this will be dashboard okay so customer dashboard okay so here we have a dashboard link So now oh we need to define the we need to export this okay so let's export this all right so now when we click on this it is oh it's not showing the link let's go to header this should be link link copy link link here we have a link and then we have a, another link right so when we click on this dashboard it will opening the it is opening the login page but now what we will do we will create our design right so remove this let's create div class call for right and then actually call md4 let's say and on the small screen we will make it 12 right and uh, then in the right side we will say call md8 and on small screen call 12 and on small screen let's give a margin bottom 2 right give him both right so here we need to add list so this should be sidebar so get bootstrap.com right and then docs and then we have a list basic example so we will took this example this one right so let's copy this we'll put here okay right so here we are so let's remove the class class name this one all right and then we have everything working yeah so these are the links so let's make it three actually because two is very four is big so let's make it three all right okay so what links we can add so links we can add the first one will be the dashboard okay 
and the second one will be the profile right and let's remove the profile let's say orders okay and uh, the third one will be the wish list okay and the fourth one will be the profile right and then we can add here logout actually we don't need the logout okay so dashboard uh, actually here we have a disabled so remove this so dashboard so let's add a active class where it is where it, it, it will be in the all right so it is in the anchor okay so here we have a active class whenever we move to the uh, dashboard uh, whenever we move to any page then we will show the active classes right now on the dashboard let's create uh, some elements okay so let's create div class row and in the row let's create call md3 margin bottom 2 okay and in this let's create class card and in the card let's create class card body all right and then make it text center and let's add h3 and let's say total orders let's make it uh, h4 no okay h4 and let's make it 4 actually okay so total orders and then we will put a link in the anchor we have let's say 1 2 3 so these are the total orders but this is not looking very nice so what we can do we can do one thing let's put h5 uh, actually h4 okay so total orders right and let's add a class here class text primary okay uh, let's say success no let's make it default okay so total orders and uh, now we can copy this and paste it here we can see total orders total wish list all right and then we can say total address total address and in the sidebar we can also add the total address okay so address is I guess or address list let's say addresses okay so total addresses five all right so here we have a total orders wish list and total addresses so when we click on this it will show the list right so total order list it will show okay so in the next part we will create the order list then uh, we will create the wish list and other things okay let's put here the logout link also let's put here the logout link uh, this is here hmm. so logout and let's put text text danger okay so this is logout now all right so this will be our customer dashboard okay so when we click on the orders it will go to orders and here you can see that when we go to the after the medium screen it will show look like this okay so you can set the screen we have a uh, multiple breakpoints you can check on the official documentation okay so now let's create the orders page then wish list then profile addresses we will show that how it will look so it will be easy for us to work with the api okay okay so in the next part we will create the order list and then wish list and other things okay 
सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज स्टे ट्यून विद कोड आर्टिजन लैब एंड एड योर कमेंट और क्वेरी इफ यू हैव एनी एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड यू कैन चेक आउट द वेबसाइट प्रोजेक्ट्स प्लाजा डॉट कॉम हे यू कैन फाइन द प्रोजेक्ट्स फॉर योर जेंगो प्रैक्टिस राइट सो इट्स नॉट वेरी यू नो कॉस्टली बट या सम प्राइस सो यू कैन पे एंड यू कैन पे इन यू एस डी और आई एन आर ओके सो यू कैन डाउनलोड एंड इंजॉय द लर्निंग सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो लेट्स मीट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू